Final Fantasy XIV's latest expansion, Dawn Trail, is scheduled to release this summer, 2024, with no fixed public announced date. This is internally known to Square Enix, however, they don't want to disappoint fans by giving a date and not sticking to it, much like what happened with Endwalker. However, they are still scheduled for a summer release, and we can expect a plethora of content. The FanFest Tokyo event recently happened, and at the first keynote address on the first day of the festival, they announced the second of the two new jobs, the first being the previously at European FanFest announced Viper Melee role. This then is the new magical range DPS, the Pictomancer. The Pictomancer draws things to life to DPS enemies. This ranged magical DPS will start at level 80, requiring no classification to start, and you can go straight into the expansion as soon as you level up to level 90. They wield a brush in the left hand, it appears to be a one-handed brush, and in much of the artwork is seen to be using a palette board in the left hand of their character. This particular job will start in New Gridania, so if you're not interested in Pictomancer and currently play the game, you might want to avoid logging out in New Gridania when the expansion launches to avoid any unnecessary delays, but if you are interested in Pictomancer, that's where you need to go. The concept behind a Pictomancer then is that it works in the medium of mixed ether, wielding a specialized brush to render their imaginings reality. These creations include not only creatures and weapons, but landscapes as well. It is described that these landscape abilities are most likely buffs and debuffs, but we'll have to wait and see, obviously, when we get our hands on to this later in the year of how that exactly works. But much of the footage provided in the trailer for Pictomancer depicts many of the abilities being focused around imaginings and the creatures such as the Moogle using an almost hyper beam like ability and the equivalency of that. Additionally, in the full extended trailer, you see the character Kryl, one of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, who is being added to the duty support feature in Dawn Trail, wielding a brush, and of course will be our resident known NPC, Pictomancer, in that she is demonstrating summoning creatures and also a flamboyant style that's also shown in the job trailer itself. Vibrant colors splash around with paint as you are very literally drawing the enemy to to death. Evoking such wonders, they say, takes time, and the Pictomancer also keeps instant cast abilities and spells at the ready. It is described by the producer and director Naoki Yoshida to be anywhere between the Summoner and Black Mage ranged magical DPS already in the game, so you can expect instant cast abilities for the majority, however you will still have your atypical casted spell abilities as well, much like Black Mage. And additionally, much like Black Mage, this will not have the support feature of Resurrection added to it. So think less of this to be a support role and more of a fixed DPS character. It is sure to be a hit with people worldwide. Many people have gone absolutely wild for this, with the expectations of Green Mage and, of course, Pictomancer being the natural conclusion from the clues that Yoshi P had given in previous fan fests. It is nice to see that those theories were correct, and I think this will be a very good and interesting addition to the game. I personally cannot wait to see what the third limit break status will be. Presumably, you will just fill the enemy and the entire screen with vibrant neon paint, and I really hope it is that. Let me know if you're excited for Pictomancer, and if you called this one all along, and I'll see you all next time.